Hey guys, hi, I'm Manjita and welcome from the beautiful Queenstown in New Zealand. It's amazing and I can actually get some raindrops on my face. And today we are in day three of week three and let's see what today's idiom is. But before that, if you've missed yesterday's idiom, then the link is above. Uh, do have a look at it. And today's idiom is, let the sleeping dogs lie. Hmm, it's an interesting one. Have you heard it before? If you have, that's amazing. If you haven't, then let's see what it means. It's basically used for a situation which is really disturbing to let it be as it is. Do not try to talk about it. Let the sleeping dogs lie. Let it be. We should not try to instigate more trouble or instigate further trouble by uh, digging onto a past situation or remembering something or coaxing someone about a situation. Basically, we got to leave something as it is. Um, if there are some disagreements on a situation and someone's not reached to a conclusion, do not try to bring that up again because it will disrupt the harmony. So let the sleeping dogs lie. Don't wake them up. Let's see what sentences can we make with this idiom. Let the sleeping dogs lie. No point of speaking of old fights in the present day. Let the sleeping dogs lie. It basically means, let's not talk about bad situations. If people have actually forgotten about it, don't bring them up. Let's see the next sentence. Hmm, since Rohan's mother forgot about asking the cigarette packet found in his room, he decided not to give any explanation for it. Let the sleeping dogs lie. When Maya and her boyfriend could not come to an agreement over a specific matter, they decided to let the sleeping dogs lie and not discuss it ever again. As discussing that topic with her would instigate her again, I decided to let the sleeping dogs lie and never discuss it ever again. Well, that's all guys and we've come to an end of this episode. So let the sleeping dogs lie. For all your old activities, thoughts, emotions, feelings, which are not giving you happiness anymore, let them lie. Don't worry about it. Don't get them back into present and move on and live your new life or happy life again. You deserve happiness in your life and only you can get it. So see you tomorrow with an interesting idiom. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and you are learning something new. So don't keep it to yourself. Share with everyone. Let everyone learn it. Let everybody grow and let us make this a big and a happy family and a community who wants to learn English and help each other. And do not forget to drop in your sentences in the comment section below and let me know if you've understood this idiom. And let me see what are the ways you are using this idiom in your lovely sentences. You are my rock star. Do not forget that and you will be a champion soon. If you're new to this channel, then subscribe, come on, press that icon and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can get a notification the moment I upload something. See you tomorrow with an interesting idiom. Till then, bye-bye, take care.